Well, look, I think the, the first point to note is that clearly the government were expecting this. They planned the contingency. They had the, the video address pre-recorded and ready to go. And I think it wasn't a, a big surprise that the pandemic staged a, a, a bit of a protest inside the Legislative Council chamber. Um, in terms of the content of the address itself, I think also it's not a surprise that Lamb is focusing on these economic issues, um, housing affordability, livelihood issues, and, and not at all touching the political issues that have been underlying the last few months of protests. So do you think that this is going to be good enough on what we've heard so far? I mean, uh, there's going to be a lot of in initiatives uh, to try and touch uh, the different uh, sectors of the community. Um, but some are saying that, you know what, we don't care about what, what she has to say. We are still unhappy and we want her to step down. Yeah, I think it remains a, 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 at its base an issue of, of, of politics that Hong Kong's been going through in the last few months. And so tinkering with these economic measures isn't going to have a huge effect. Now, if she'd come out with some extremely bold economic or livelihood issues that, that really sort of changed the landscape, that might have been enough uh, for people to sort of sit up and, and, and take notice and reassess. But you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, the people out in the streets haven't been chanting we want more affordable housing they're chanting about about universal suffrage and other political issues and as long as they go unaddressed I'm not sure that these sort of piecemeal policy measures um, are going to really do anything to, to change the the atmosphere here in Hong Kong hi Anthony it's Matt here in Singapore well then how does this all end then we know that uh, Hong Kong is not going to give mm. in to some of those demands that uh, the protesters have been calling for so is there seemingly mm. no end in sight when it comes to what are we in now, the 20th weekend of protests on the streets? Yeah, look, it's clearly it's clear there's no sign of compromise from Carrie Lam or her government. Um, and indeed, you know, the, the opening of her speech, she was reiterating a lot of Beijing's talking points in terms of underlying, uh, you know, the, the one country, two systems policy and that there's going to be no compromise on any of these issues. So I think it looks like we're in for more months of protests. I mean, the one point on the horizon that I've been looking forward to is the upcoming district council elections. Um, now they are scheduled for the end of November. If the pan-democrat parties have big wins in those elections, that might be a point at which protesters can declare something of a political victory, having seen their efforts on the streets sort of pay off in a, in a political outcome through those elections. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.